Hi guys, uh, what's up? So just continuing our uh, blockchain and telecom industry uh, series forward, uh, I also wanted to talk about a very exciting use case where Telecom Regulatory Authority of India, TRI, is using blockchain to solve reconciliation issues or arbitration issues among uh, telecom service providers and operators and also to solve a problem of DND, right? Do not disturb. So we all know that most of the times though we register our number in DNDs, we still uh, receive uh, a lot of promotional messages and calls and all of that and so on and so forth so you must be wondering why it happens and how it happens right so just let me give you a quick uh, uh, introduction uh, around this problem so usually what happens is that whenever you're registering your number as in DNB you're registering with your particular service provider so which means that if you're using an Airtel you are registering your number as in DNB with the Airtel meaning that this information is not shared with other telecom operators such as Idea, Vodafone, Geo, or, or or whatever it is, right? So on and so forth. So meaning that those other telecom operator providers, since they don't have your data because Airtel or any of these companies doesn't feel comfortable in sharing the valuable customer's data, possibly, uh, you know, you end up getting DNDs from these telecom operators providers. And we see there's a lot of data leakages issues, right? You might find that some one fine day, some random person just calls you up and says that, hey, you want to trade in stock? markets you want to buy this property and all of that right you must be wondering from all where all of these data leakages and all of these things happen right these happens because of a lot of centralization because the people working in this industry or something like that there is some kind of a leak where they would just sell your data for money and have access to all these kinds of data and possibly actually or any of these companies would not know who downloaded this data and who used it and where is they used it and how did they sold it right but to you know manage all these kind of issues try has decided to create a blockchain network or a blockchain net platform where all of these telecom providers would be connected and would be sharing all the data in real time and this platform based on smart contracts and data computing and automation would, con would compute and reconcile the data and possibly in the real time so this will bring not only bring more transparency but this will also help try to identify where are the gaps and where are the leakages right because in this industry a lot of times even the telecom operators possibly are the bad actors right they would just possibly bill more to their competitors uh, and I would say that okay you know hey you know there are like 1 million minutes which is used by your users on our network and that person would say that okay okay it's it's 80,000 on our network but but to get to the truth and to realize what actually has been happened they just would want to know everything in the real time because the data feed whatever comes here onto this platform currently or serve to try could be manipulated and there is no audit trail of it so what try has finally decided is to create a blockchain network where all of these telecom operators and providers would share all their customers data and now you must be worried that okay what if you know, now my data is shared and everybody could have an access to it. Well, that's not the case. So in the blockchain, whenever a data is pushed, it's basically encrypted using hashing and public private key, right? As I have explained in my previous video. So this encryption mechanisms makes impossible for any third party to basically access the data, but to still verify the information using the blockchain or using the smart contracts or using something which we call, uh, you know, like in a general term, data computing. But in, in technically words, it's it's absolutely uh, something else. But but I have just made things simpler for you uh, for by using data computing. So this data computing mechanism would compute all the data in this blockchain network in this real time. Now imagine all the telecom operators, all the service providers are connected in real time. Uh, and this, this, this uniform database or a uniform blockchain network, which would serve as a single version of truth, would have all the data of every person who has opted for DNDs, right? And, and for example, now the geo wouldn't be able to or it's people or the telemarketers with geo wouldn't be able to you know spam it users in it wouldn't be able to uh, spam geo users right so this way the government is trying to solve this problem in a big big way this is a billion dollar project and this is going in a massive way plus also to solve reconciliation issues because apparently all these telecom operators are also supposed to pay uh, to try certain percentage of fees or revenues whatever they generate as part of their licensing agreements and and recently you have seen that all of these companies has been uh, notified or sued by the try for playing like billions of dollars in penalties uh, because of some kind of a fraud and manipulation and that would solve all this problem to a lot of extent because try would be able to get all the data in real time compute and identify who are the bad actors in this entire network so guys keep uh, watching uh, you know like for the blockchain space uh, keep watching for the blockchain space reach me out if you have any doubts or any queries blockchain is one of the biggest 
career opportunities out there. The industry is booming. It's just like the 1990s internet because blockchain is purely about data computing, purely about trust. So keep sharing, keep liking, and just let me know if we could be of any of your help or help you kickstart your blockchain career or if you're looking for a job job or a mentorship in a blockchain or you're working in some project you can just please feel to uh, reach out to me or to our awesome team and snap a future tech or indian blockchain institute and snap a buzz and i would be glad to get connected with you guys so bye bye guys cheers and have a good day